In this clip, I will try to show how to configure Microsoft Windows 7 with NFS for Xtremer. This is the before setup and you can see that NFS is currently disabled. Um, we don't have an, any NFS connection. First thing to do is uh, install Hanwin NFS, which is... Uh, I read about it on the Xtremer forum. Download and install is quite uh, simple. Since I already have it installed, then I will not go through the um, whole installation process. But you can see it's quite a next, next, next procedure. Once uh, NFS uh, service is installed, you need to uh, open uh, its administration applet. You want to run it as an administrator because this is the only way you can uh, later on save your settings. So uh, this is quite important. This is the administration applet and you can see that uh, I've checked uh, out to use uh, UTF-8 as character set. This is in order for me to be able to read Hebrew from uh, the extremer UI later on. Next step, next step is to uh, configure the shares itself, the share itself. So this is my hard drive. Uh, where the folder resides. This is the folder I want to share and uh, I need to add it into uh, the, the file. This is the file that tells uh, the NFS service which folder to are to be shared and on which terms. So um, I'm I've just read only because I don't want uh, Xtremer to change the, the files on my computer. The name is public and the name is media and I also chose public. I'm not sure that it's necessary. After I restart the server, I can see that uh, the folder is probably po probably properly exported, but no one is currently mounted uh, on it. So no one connected yet. So next next step is to uh, configure Extremer itself. So we're going to the setup uh, page, and in the in the NFS client, we need to create a local mount point. Local here means it will be local on the extremer itself. We need to just um, give it a name. It the mount point will be created on the device. And once it's created, we need to uh, choose the remote mount point. In this case, remote means our own machine, like th the, the computer from which we want to stream out. So this is my, currently, uh, uh, my current IP. This is the IP for the computer. I'm just doing a copy and paste. Uh, um, in command prompt, if you click enter after you mark, then it's copied. And then I will just paste it uh, into the page. Then you do a semicolon, slash, and the name. Okay, like in this name, the name is media. This is the name from the text file that was edited before. Other parameters are um, actually block sizes for uh, reading. Like how much it should read and how much it should write all that for every operation. I chose UDP even though you can keep it on TCP. Once you click apply and you see uh, you see that the line was added, it means that XM is successfully connected. And in the mount, you can see that it's there. So our server got it connected. From this point onward, it's just going to the um, Xtremer UI itself. And um, our data should be available on NFS. This is the line that, that's been added, uh, and f from this line we can learn that uh, configuration is done. So Xtremer actually mounted uh, the local, uh, the remote actually, the remote um, folder. So now NFS shortcut is enabled, and once I clicked it, I can see the media. This is the, the mount point, okay, this is actually the mount points on the Xtremer itself. Once I click on the mount point, I can see the different folders. In this case, it's Hebrew, so UTF also helped me with these uh, settings. And this is it. I got it configured. Thanks.